Hello YouTube and welcome to another overclocking video of the Ryzen 7 1700. Today what we're taking a look at here is frequency versus voltage because I wanted to see what voltage is required uh, to reach a certain frequency on my processor and how high can I go um, before I, I reach the 1.425 volts which is the recommended absolute max by AMD. So as you can see this is the table you have frequency on the left hand and voltage on the right hand and as you can see uh, the lowest voltage I, I figured I would start at 1700 since that is the uh, lowest frequency that you can expect all eight cores to be clocked at so how low can I go for that frequency and as you can see here, it's 1.1875 volts. But why didn't I go lower? Well, the thing is, my system would not boot at a V core lower than this frequency. So that is why it is this low. And that's also, it works out for uh, 3.725 megahertz. So I didn't have to increase the voltage there. And as we move up, you can see that it's a slight voltage increase to 1.2. It goes to 1.2375, 1.25, and so forth. Pretty linear. But then at uh, 3.9 gigahertz here, it starts to be pretty steep in order to reach that frequency and I was hoping that I could go all the way up to 4 gigahertz but as you can see from 3.925 megahertz to uh, gigahertz I mean uh, up to 3.950 gigahertz the voltage bump is really steep and I was lucky to be able to make uh, 3.95 gigahertz on such a voltage there because had I had to go any higher then I would have had to settle for 3.925 gigahertz um, and what we can say about this is that as you can see for the most part it's pretty linear on my chip and I think that I wasn't particularly lucky in the silicone lottery, it wouldn't surprise me if you have chips that can clock higher at lower voltages. But this is how high I was able to go at the different frequencies. We can just uh, take a look at that again. If you want to use that for reference um, for your own overclocking, like say that... You're happy with 3.8, for example. Well, there's a good chance that you can go as high, as low as 1.25 uh, in V-Core. 1.25 volts. Because the thing is, if you leave it at stock, it will only go to uh, 3.750 uh, as a boost frequency. But the thing is, if you leave everything at stock, I've seen my voltage spike all the way up to 1.5. Uh, when all you need is 1.2 to reach that frequency. So even if you're not interested in overclocking, you might be able to retain the same frequency and have a much lower V-core, which is actually going to save you uh, some power. And if you see out here, the reason that uh, 3.975 gigahertz and 4 gigahertz don't have any bars is because well here is where I topped out see there's the uh, 1.425 volts is as high as you should go and with my chip particularly I couldn't go any higher than that so how is your chip performing at the different voltages and how high can you go on the max uh, safe voltage which is 1.425 volts let me know in the comments below and like comment subscribe and see you next time
Bye.